Hi, welcome to the next 10 sheet metal video tutorial. I want to do the sheet metal bracket which I did before in some of the other programs. So let's start. There are two possibilities to go for a sheet metal part. You could go for a normal part and then convert it to a sheet metal part or just make a new sheet metal part. So I will go for a new sheet metal part and I will call this one NX10 sheet metal bracket. No, not like this. Caps lock was on. NX10 sheet metal bracket confirm and now you're in the sheet metal environment so if you look for the sheet metal defaults you have to go for file preferences sheet metal there you can set all your parameters I will go for material selection and will choose the same as in inventor aluminium 6061 and confirm and ok now I want to use the contour flange so I need a sketch right on that plane confirm this should look something like this Okay, make this line horizontal, make these two collinear, put this point onto that axis right here, and that line should be coincident to this axis, make collinear. Now give it some dimensions. This should be 120. This should be 60. That distance should be 50. And I need radial dimension this should be 40 in diameter close it's fully constrained finish the sketch now go for the contour flange choose connected curves select one of these make it symmetric make it 30 millimeters the thickness is according to the material selected Please take note, you can only make it in this direction, so the material is on this side of the sketch or in the other direction. There's no neutral selection, so it's in the middle. And I will go for this one and confirm. Maybe let's hide the sketch. So, with the flange, there's no possibility to use zero degrees. So, I will go for a tab, a secondary tab. Select that face. Then, I need a rectangle which is 25 by 10. Okay. Then I need a point which is right on the middle of the line, the midpoint. And now I want to put that point this one onto the edge. And I want to have midpoint. Now let's make these to collinear and it's centered. There's no possibility to center this one on that edge. 
otherwise or yes there is but there is no automatic positioning option in the tab command so finish this and you got one over here I need the same on the other side so I will make another sketch no go for another tab right there another rectangle 25 by 10 again put a point right on the center of that line close this one and then put the point onto that edge centered and then these two should be collinear finish the sketch and ok now I could go for a flange on that edge make it 70 check outside inside That's the length reference. I would go for outside and the material is inside or outside. I go for inside, apply, make another flange right here. This should be 20. That's the default angle. It's okay and apply and another one over here. And this one should be 10. Okay, now I could go for my camphors, let's go right here and take care, in the next you can select these edges as well and you don't want to select this or that one, you want to select this, that one, distance is 4, this one, That one and this one and that one and okay and I got my model now you got two choices you could go for a flat pattern and or for a flat solid so let's check the flat solid you select a stationary face and then just confirm and you will get let's hide this one and you got the flat solid which you could do some holes or bend or whatsoever okay Let's show our model and deactivate this one. And you can go for a flat pattern. Just go for a flat pattern and select again the face and apply. So take note, it's created in a different view. Maybe you noticed it, there was a short because of flash of the flat pattern. So move up, go to the model views and go for the flat pattern. Activate it and you got the flat pattern with the band lines and the band radius and the band angle. Yeah? Okay. So go back to our normal view and I'm done for this one. If you want to see more sheet metal Give it a like down below, leave a hopefully nice comment, thanks for watching and see you to the next one, bye bye.